Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a boxer part two. Uh, part one is already uh, on YouTube and if you missed it you can look it up after watching this one. And in this one I show you how to draw faces uh, of boxers and go into a little more detail. Uh, the only reason it's not attached to part one is that uh, it would have made that particular video uh, a bit long. And uh, after all, who wants to sit and watch me draw for uh, about 20 minutes? Apart from me, of course. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Okay, here we go. Uh, blank sheet of paper, as usual. And what I'm using is a watercolour pencil. You can buy these in any art shop. And the beauty of using a watercolour pencil is that uh, when you add water to the pencil marks, you can uh, get a nice shading effect. So I'm just drawing an outline of a, of a boxer. Just getting a, a rough figure standing in the corner of a ring. And there we go. Arms by his side, and there's the shorts. And draw the face. And he's looking slightly apprehensive as he's going into the ring. And he's going to get battered by his opponent. So we'll draw, add a bit of humour, we'll have one boot half off. Shoelaces are undone, and the other one will be a normal boot. Right, that's about the shape. And now I, I've got a calligraphy pen here and I'm going to ink in the pencil sketch. So there's his black eye. His, his uh, other eye is normal. And Let's draw his hair all over the place. He hasn't had time to comb. Comb it in between rounds. And a few patches on his face. Oh, let's draw his boxing glove. <coughs> Excuse me. There's his shorts, he's looking slightly dumpy, out of condition. Now his boxing glove. And the beauty of drawing a boxer, and if you can't draw hands, draw a boxer. Gloves are easy to draw. There's the other boxing glove, bit of shading. Okay, now let's draw this boot is undone, the laces are undone, and he's just about to lose the boot. There's a lace on the floor, just makes the drawing a slightly more funny. Let's draw another. Okay, and this boot is normal, laced up.
couple of lines either side of the head to show that he's in a bit of a daze. He's just been clouded. Here's the rope of the ring. And there's the corner post of the ring. Right, now I'm just getting some water and we'll just go over the ink sketch that I've just done. The ink's slightly still wet but not much but it does give you a, a nice shading effect. Gives the drawing a bit of depth. Right, now I shall uh, get some yellow, a magic marker, and uh, colour in his trousers. I'm not, well, not trousers, they're his shorts really, but uh, okay. Now I'll add a bit of colour to his head using a flesh coloured watercolour. These are just ordinary watercolours, they're not uh, anything fancy. Okay, uh, now I'll get a red magic marker and give him a bit of, of blood splattered down over his uh, shorts. We'll add a bit of water to that just to mix up the red, give him a red nose, bit of it there, and there you have it, one boxer looking battered. So that's the end of that drawing, so what I'll do now is we'll draw some battered boxers faces. And this will give you some idea of what expressions to use if you're drawing boxes. So I'll, I'll do about four pencil sketches. So here's the first one. And I'm using uh, a watercolour pencil here. So there's the nose. He's got both eyes closed, this one. A couple of lines around the head to show he's in a bit of a daze. Now let's draw a third one, give him a couple of patches. When you're drawing these pencil sketches, um, you don't have to be too accurate, Just it's to give you a rough idea of what to do. Uh, this one, let's see, uh, black eye, two black eyes and we'll give him a bandage on his head. <clears throat> Excuse me, and his hair sticking out. So there you got it. So what I'll do now is uh, get my pen, which is a calligraphy pen, and I'll ink in over the lines. Well, you can see my tie at the bottom of the screen, but uh, that doesn't matter, in case you're wondering what it is. So he's just got one black eye. A 
couple of patches where he's been cutting the ring And this one is uh, the draw, the drawing with a couple of teeth missing. There. Um, this one is wearing a bandage on his head and his hair is sticking up at the top. That's it. That's the uh, battered uh, boxes. And what we'll do now is we'll uh, add a little watercolour and give them a bit of shading. As I say, and as I say, these are just ordinary watercolours. Um, nothing special. but it gives the drawing depth. Right, that's, that's fine. Okay. Just mixing up a bit more red. Slightly darker. They've all got red noses now after being punched. So we'll uh, get rid of these drawings now and I'll draw a cartoon. Just uh, putting the watercolours away, which you can't see, or oh, I'll sign my name. And uh, we'll do a quick cartoon now. Walking cartoon. Let's get rid of that. And I'll do a quick pencil sketch of a cartoon idea. What we'll do is we'll have a boxer sitting on the stool in the corner of the ring. Uh, I won't finish it, I'll just give you the rough outline. Uh, you can, uh, for a bit of fun, you can finish it. But it's in the corner of the ring and we'll have his uh, assistant in the corner saying to him, uh, uh, giving him a bit of advice and he's saying to him, now, you want to watch your opponent because he's got a very long reach. Uh, that's the joke. So we'll have to boxer sitting there. There he is. Sitting on his stool. And like I say, you can finish this drawing yourself if you copy the ones I've done. Uh, you can draw the uh, his partner giving him advice. Um, I'm just giving you the rough outline of the boxer sitting there. And his manager is saying to him, 
Now, watch out. Your opponent's got a very long reach, so be careful. There's the face. There's the rope. And now we do the punchline. <laughs> the punchline. And there's a very long reach coming out from the other corner to clout him. So that's a cartoon really. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video and thank you again for watching. Sign my name. Right, that's it.